Tonight, high school football officially kicked off for the season, but getting to the tonight wasn't so easy for a lot of these teams. Some schools had to change their schedule because of referee shortages. Fox 40's Garth Balsanga joining us live from Roseville High School with just how bad that ref shortage really is and how it impacted games tonight. Garth Ball. Hey there, Eric, and at least for one night, that shortage was not felt. We're here at Roseville High School where the Roseville Tigers are taking on Oakmont, and they're just winning 41-0 and here in the fourth quarter. Like I mentioned, for the most part tonight, things went well, and the reason for that was everyone pitched in to help, but this referee shortage will most likely be impacted, impacting future games. It's week one a Friday night light. For students on the field, it's an opportunity to make new memories. But this season, they will have to share the spotlight with the referees. It's uh, rather difficult because we do not have enough officials. And the shortage of officials means some games will have to be canceled or postponed. It's just it's ridiculous. Larry Oaks has officiated for 48 years. A uh, three-sport athlete in high school. So I, I, I officiated his game. Yeah, so, <laughs> so exactly. So if, if it wasn't for these guys, we don't play. And for the past six years for Jesse Davis, Tonight, they're part of one of eight officiating team who traveled from the Chico area to help make sure every game for the Sac Joaquin section goes on as planned. Well, not as bad as it is now. Monty Moeller would know. Yes, for nearly 30 years, he has been in charge of scheduling referees for high school games for our region. Week two, we have uh, 10 schools that will have to change when they are playing the game. They can go any day but Friday or Sunday. And that is one way they're hoping to ensure every game is played. Moeller says the reasons for the shortage, the pandemic impacting supply chain, not enough money, the time the referees put in, and treatment referees face from parents. I think that the guys are just nervous and scared, you know, because they're, they're not 100% a, a confident they're going to be protected. Recently, social media videos have been shining a light on the disturbing trend in all youth sports. These refs understand they have an important job, but on most occasions, it's a thankless job. Davis hopes fans and parents understand it's a game. The biggest thing that everybody needs to remember, it's for the kids. It's not for the parents, it's not for the fans, it's for the kids. Have some sportsmanship, have some class. And back out here live as Roseville continues to take on Oakmont. Now, one way people in charge of high school athletics are protecting referees, if a parent assaults anyone on the field or a referee before, during, or after the game, they will be banned. So they're hoping that puts an end to the threats and the assaults the referees face. But if you want to be a referee, just go to fox40.com, click on this article. You can click and fill out your information. But these guys certainly need it. Reporting live in Roseville, I'm Garge Paul Sunga, Fox 40 News.